Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to import videos from YouTube URLs into Airtable using Data Fetcher and Microlink. So Microlink is going to download the YouTube videos and then add them as attachment files into Airtable via Data Fetcher. You don't need any code for this tutorial and both Data Fetcher and Microlink are free to start using. So today we're first going to begin in our Airtable base and we do need to set up a videos table to start. So up here in the top left hand corner, we're going to retitle table one to videos, nice and simple, select save, that's really easy. And then we're going to create a couple of fields. So for our first field, we're going to take the notes one and change this to URL and from the drop down menu, we're going to select single line text. Great, select save. Paste your YouTube URLs here like so. And then for the following field, we're going to change this field to video with the type attachment. So just from that drop down menu, select attachment and then select save. We can delete the status field, really great. Then we're going to create a new grid. So just over to the left hand side, you'll see create grid, select that plus symbol, and we're going to title this grid needs video. Create new view. Now make sure you are in this grid view before you select the filter, and we're going to add our conditions here. So we need to first click on the add condition button and then select from name URL. So it should read where URL field is not empty. Nice and simple. Add another condition that says, and video field is empty. Great. So now that you have the needs video grid view with these filters, we can now install our data fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this extensions option in that menu bar. Select that, click add an extension, that big blue button, and then search for data fetcher in the search bar when that pops up. Select add and select add extension, that blue button. Now this will load to the following screen where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. The following screen will load and now we can import our data by selecting the create your first request button. We can title this request up here, fetch YouTube videos and now search for the application microlink. Great, choose that. You can leave that with the type none under authorization. And for the end point, we are going to select create videos from URLs. Then choose save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. And now the following screen will load. Here we need to have a look at this URL section. Over to the right hand side, we're going to click on the plus symbol to reference a table field or variable. Here, we'd like to reference the table to our videos table, which is already selected. And for the field, we're going to choose URL. As you can see, this immediately brings the following information up. It has our three URLs that we've already pasted in there. And under run for every record in view, it already has the option selected needs video. That's exactly what we need to have here. So we're going to select confirm. And now you should see the difference in the URL section. It should have those stars, videos, URL, and some more stars then just make sure that your output table and view is set to videos and needs video. Nice and simple, it's already done automatically. We can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Now the response field mapping will open. This is where you can select which fields you'd like to have included into your Airtable base. So as you can see, these are all currently turned on. You have these little green toggles that you can turn to gray, nice and simple. That turns them off just by clicking that button, or you can simply select filter all to turn them all off. Then you can choose the ones that you'd like to have included in your Airtable base. You can either select these here and we would like to import the image URL. As you can see, this is already here, so we'll turn that on. And we'd also like to include video, so you can search this in the find field bar. Great. And title. 
Fantastic. So once we've turned those three on, we can make sure that the video field, as we can close that over, find that again, is mapped to the existing field video, which again, this has already happened automatically. We can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And now data fetcher is running this request. Here we can select show output table and you'll arrive onto the following page. You can close over the extensions and return yourself to that first grid view, which is where you will now have all of that information loaded up. So what's happened here is data fetcher has used micro link to download each YouTube video from the specified URLs and to add them here as attachments, as you can see here, to our video field. And the image URLs and titles will appear in new fields as well that have also been created in this output table. Obviously, the videos do still remain property of YouTube, even if they have been downloaded. So just bear that in mind. And just as another side note, if you run into Microlink's free plan limits, you can buy a Microlink paid plan via our blog post. So just go ahead and check that out. And then you can set the authorization type to header and enter your API key to increase your limit. So you can see that on the blog post. Don't worry about it too much now. I just wanted to let you know that while you're here. So this is really cool that we've been able to do this, but we can actually go one step further to schedule our YouTube videos and import them into Airtable automatically. So at the moment, you'd need to manually run your data fetcher request to import any updates to these YouTube videos, but it is possible to run this request automatically at regular intervals using data fetchers paid scheduling feature. So in order to do this, you can go ahead and click on this extensions button again to open up data fetcher. When that loads, it automatically brings you back to that request that you've already created. So you can click on that. And this is all of those settings that you have already chosen. If you scroll down a little bit, you can find this schedule option. And this schedule option will only be available to you if you have already paid for an upgraded version of Data Fetcher. So if you haven't yet done that, go ahead and do that now and then come back to this step. And now you should see that you can add your API key. So if we select add API key, you'll be prompted to go to your Airtable account. If you choose that button, here is your Airtable, you're brought right to your account overview and you can generate your API key here. Once that's generated, copy it over and paste it back into your Airtable account here in the not set bar. Once you have that pasted, you can select save and you'll see that this automatically schedules this request and you can choose then how often this request is scheduled. So I'm gonna go ahead, leave it on one hour and leave it every single day. But like I say, this is your preference. Then you can choose to select save down in the bottom right hand corner and close that window over. Great, so hopefully today you have learned how to import videos from YouTube URLs in Airtable using Data Fetcher and Microlink but if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com, where we do also have a full length blog on this exact topic. So if you prefer to learn this way, check that out. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.